I know tens of thousands of people, and I know thousands of people extremely well, and I know hundreds of people deeply well. There is no correlation between how much money someone makes and their level of happiness. I have friends who make $47,000 a year and are the happiest people I know. Their work-life balance is on point, they're part of two soccer teams, they play video games, they watch every show they want, they take two vacations that they scrap together and they're freaking happy as hell. And I know tons of people who I grew up with in the Silicon Valley boom who have hundreds of millions of dollars in their bank account and are as miserable and as lonely and as broken as you'll ever see. So I implore all of you to please reverse engineer and figure out who you are and figure out what level of monetizing and stuff you need and what level of creativity you need. I promise you one thing, one thing that will catch you very off guard. Mine should be way more rich. I leave money on the table every day. I, I've left ungodly amounts of money on the table. I spend tons of times spending, sending DMs and engaging with people, meeting people randomly and not cashing in. I actually believe the statement I'm about to make. I think that I love the journey and the game of entrepreneurship so much that I have subconsciously sabotaged my financial upside to make sure I can play this a little longer because I fear if the numbers keep getting too big, eventually it will take the fun out of it. When you were lucky enough, like I am, to actually do something that you love so much, do something that puts pressure against the one thing you care about besides it, which is the time I spend with my family. My family is my whole life. And being this and doing this is the only thing that cuts into that. I couldn't breathe if I wasn't an entrepreneur. I didn't breathe when I wasn't an entrepreneur. That's the reason I got D's and F's in school because I just couldn't be me. And I'm not capable of that. And so I think being here excites me because I think coming to not LA, San Francisco, New York, London is always more fun for me. It always feels a little more practical. It always feels like there's a little bit more chips on the shoulder, which is what I have. But I wanna remind everybody, just because you didn't grow up with a trust fund, just because you don't live in Silicon Valley, the market doesn't care. If you're good enough, you will win.